Hey everyone, it's Julie here from Thermo Kitchen. Today I wanted to show you um, a little trick about cleaning your bowl. Um, my bowl has just come out of the dishwasher and it really doesn't look much better than when it went in. And this is actually the second time it's been in, but it's got this mottled pattern on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it and on the sides. Um, obviously the blades are still dirty. Um, and it's just been something I cooked a little while ago. At first I thought it was rust pitting the bowl, but then when I really scraped hard, I could kind of lift a little bit of it. So I just kept putting it back in the dishwasher, hoping that something magic would occur, but it's obviously not going to. Um, so it's time now to um, do my little trick, which is a hot lemon wash. Usually I um, try and choose the lemon that's been um, forgotten in the bottom of the fruit bowl, the one that's just about to go in the bin. So I chop that into four pieces. Now I'm staying out of this um, video because I haven't um, done hair or makeup or anything. I'm in my house clothes. So anyway, okay, so what we're doing now is we're just going to chop um, this lemon. Now all of my pitting and food was down in the bottom of um, my bowl. So really that's what I want to concentrate on. So I'm not putting a lot of water in because I would love it to be a very strong lemon um, so that the acid um, will take everything off the bowl. Okay, so that was just about 250 mils or grams of water. Now we need to get it to Varoma because the steam will actually give the whole bottle, whole bowl um, a really nice clean. So I'm going to put this on for 10 minutes on Varoma and we're going to go um, on speed 3.5 and the reason for that is that um, you know, you want to agitate it a little bit. You don't just want it to be stirring. So the agitation with the um, lemon acid and then the steam is what actually does the cleaning. So I'll be back when this is all done and we can have a look at um, my bowl. Okay, so you can see all the steam coming out of that. Um, it's only been on Varoma for probably about three minutes as it was getting to heat, but the lemon has been agitated um, really well and um, there's been a lot of steam action for the last three to five minutes. Okay, now the good part of this is that if you have a second bowl that needs cleaning, so it'll only be five minutes for me to do this bowl. Now this bowl isn't that dirty, it's fine, but the lemon brings it up so sparkling and clean that if I'm doing one bowl, I tend to get in and do them all. So you can see that even the lid got a clean. Um, it's got all the lovely lemoniest lemon over it. And that's what our um, mixture looks like in the end. A really nice cooked lemon. Okay, so my second bowl is going in. All the lemon from that going in there. Now if um, it was a dirty bowl I might um, scrape in every last little bit of that but there's really no need. I'm just trying to get the shine back on the other one. So I'll put that there. I am going to add a little bit more liquid. She'll cool the water a little bit but it'll be fine. Now this lid is my problem. Um, I've put this through the dishwasher a few times and you probably can't see, but um, there's, yeah, you can hear it. There's all dried rubbish on there that the dishwasher isn't helping. And there's kind of even a little bit around here where the MC goes. So um, doing this um, will actually um, steam up this nicely and hopefully the lemon will help remove it because nothing else has been working. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see that, but for me, that is gleaming 
clean. It's nice and silver again. It doesn't have that pitted, those pitted marks. The blades are all nice and shiny. Yeah, it's a much better looking bowl than it was before. This one's still got a minute to go and it's standing away nicely. And if I wanted to do a third bowl, um, I would just add probably, I'd probably add a half, or at least a half cup of water to the third bowl, but my third bowl's not too bad. So there we have it. It's really no effort. And like I said, those that um, particular um, TM bowl had been through the dishwasher about three times because um, I just kept hoping that it would clean itself, but it hasn't. Thank you for watching, and I'll have more tips on Thermo Kitchen.